Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to unbox a new microphone that I bought. I haven't done any unboxings on this channel yet, uh, but this one is pretty fitting because it's music related, at least the recordings that I do on my channel, uh, because my microphone recently broke um, and I needed a new one. The last one that I used and that I used for most of my recordings, videos, music videos and such was this one was the MXL 770X. This was a great microphone and it looks great in my opinion and it always sat in this holder uh, so vibrations didn't come through. And it was a great microphone and suddenly it didn't work anymore. Uh, I don't really know what happened. Uh, I opened the microphone and looked inside. Nothing seems to be fishy, uh, but I couldn't open everything because I didn't have the right tools to open it. But uh, anyways, I needed a new microphone either way. So I have still a backup one from my buddy Jorim, who already did a couple of videos with me. And that's the second one that I used if we record reaction videos with two people. And this is actually his this is the, uh So I don't want to claim that one for myself because it isn't. Uh, so I bought a new one. And the one that I bought is the Rode NT2A. I actually debated between a couple of mics. Uh, and the NT1A is one of the most popular microphones that you probably can get online. This one is more expensive, but it makes up for it for a couple of features that the other one doesn't have, uh, which my MXL also had, which are some different kind of polar patterns, some pads, you have option to reduce uh, certain frequencies and such, which you don't have with the Rode NT1A. So that said guys, I'm gonna unbox this. I will not test this in this video, but of course you will see me in reaction videos and such music videos, which will be recorded with this one. So let's open this one. It's a nice, oh, I see there's a little bit of a rip in the, in the box right here. I don't know if that's because of a shipping or not. I, get, I got it through my parents because uh, I'm not at home a lot of the time so okay let's get this one out does it just slide out I first have to cut open this sticker right here okay that'll be a quicker way to open it right okay so that's that let's remove this from the microphone this to the side okay so this is the box and I will be able to open it right away I believe so the holder should be included as well let's see if we open the box so this is probably the mic itself and then this should be the holder probably let's first <clears throat> take this one out kind of heavy Oh, they, oh, no, no, this is probably the mic. Yeah, yeah, this is probably the holder. Yeah, it's quite heavy. Uh, which which is not that surprising, but for some reason it, uh, it caught me off guard a little bit. Uh, because I knew from other reviews that it's quite a heavy uh, mic. Oh, there's also a pop filter, I believe, in the box. Oh, and here is, I don't know what this is. Let's see, there are three boxes in total. Oh, this is the cable. Oh, there's a cable included. That's nice. I didn't remember it, it came included in the box. But, okay, let's put this to the side. So, we have the cable, we have the holder, and we have the mic itself. So, let's first open the cable because that will be over quickly. Should be an XLR cable which it is which is always useful uh, because cables can defect as well and having an extra one is always 
welcome. Seems like a nice cable from Rode. Rode is of course a very popular brand when it comes to microphones. Uh, not only is just for singing, but also a l like most people that have camera microphones have Rode microphones as well. And even the microphone I'm speaking right into right now is a Rode wireless uh, one. I mean, it's a lav mic, but it's connected to my Rode wireless uh, through my camera. So let's open the stand, the holder here. Oh, that seems like quite the nice pop filter actually. It seems nicer than the ones that I have so far. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's connected like this. This seems like a pretty nice pop filter, guys. I don't know if it focuses, probably sees my face. Oh yeah, there it is. Seems like a nice pop filter. Very robust, it seems. Uh, seems pretty good to me. Okay. Then we have the holder itself here. Wow. That's also very solid, I would say. Man. Man if I... If I compare this to the one that I have I mean check out the difference this is huge right man I'm kind of hyped actually <laughs> okay very nice let's put this to the side a lot of boxes right here okay now let's move on to the main show the main thing here oh it comes in a case what a nice package actually so it fits in this cloth bag seems pretty nice then we have the main star for today oh my god that's a hefty boy Jesus there's nothing else probably okay let's move these boxes to the side and my god okay let's slides right out that's what she said. Sorry. <laughs> Little band over here. Okay. Wow. Now that seems like a nice microphone. Let's compare it to my other one size-wise. Oh, it's not really... I have to turn it a little bit. Okay. So let's compare it size-wise. So this was my last one and it's not it's not a small one either actually the 770X from MXL uh, but the NT2A from Rode is definitely taller and heavier for that matter my god okay also look at the features here uh, we have the polar patterns right here and they're very similar actually we have the uh, one where you can choose to record only from the front or optimally from the front at least that's where you have that <laughs> uh, strange booty like figure um, pattern then when we go to the eight figure of the pattern that's from both sides front and the back that it records and then we have the surrounding uh, setting which records from all sides of the microphone uh, but I mean optimally I believe still is in the front and in the back in that case uh, then if we turn around the MXL we have the 0 or minus 10 decibels uh, on the NT2A we have another option we have the 0 and the minus 10 but we also have a 0 5 so that's an extra option which is nice and then we have this, with which I actually don't really know what it stands for, uh, but I believe it's the same as these uh, frequencies that we can leave out uh, on the NT2A, which is 0 or minus 40 or minus 80, which is the pad. It starts only from 40 if you set it on minus 40, or it only starts from 
frequencies 80 and above. We only have two settings here on the MXL and we have three settings on the NT2A. Uh, so I have a couple of options more on this one. Very nice, but they're very comparable, I think, when it comes to features. Also price-wise, um, this one I saw in certain markets that it's for $400, but I actually paid 260 euros, which is quite a bit cheaper. Uh, and I paid 220 or 230 for this one. So price-wise, pretty comparable, actually. I have this one now for almost four years. But still, I expected this one to last longer than that. So I hope the road one lasts me a little bit longer than that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my unboxing of this one. If you have more questions about the road NT2A, just ask me in the comments below and, and I'll, I'll see if I can answer your question. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also, don't forget, guys, to check out my reaction videos, my music videos and tutorials for you guys. Thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Was the MX was the MXL seven hundred and sift with uh, which you don't have with the road one T N or let's see. Oh, now I'm not sure. I don't think I have scissors here. Let's see. Oh, I do. Road is of course a very no. So guys, this was the unboxing of this one. I mean, look at, we have the zero and the, and the, we have this. If you have more questions about the, if you have more questions about the road N2T, if you have, anyways guys, if you, anyways guys, just suggest, just,